Bang on! Hey. Morning, y'all. This washing machine is working. Bosh, you've been rubbish. Three weeks to get that fixed, but it's now working. We can have clean clothes again. Right, I'm off to Surrey today, going to play um, with Richard McAvoy. He won this year, he was quite well known actually when he won because it was the non-handshake with Bryson DeChambeau, kind of the not much heart handshake, but it was his first tour win, I think he's been on tour 17 years. We're going to try and play as close as we can to the British Masters course, so it should be fun. We're going to spend today thinking about what it takes and what you need to do and asking his opinion to get on tour, like what makes a tour player. That's today's subject. Should be fun. Let's go and pick up coach. Welcome, Matthew. Oh, oh, oh. Magically start this video. <laughs> Tiger, eh? Oh, stop it. Tiger, this is a very bump. This is the bumpiest bit of video I've ever filmed. Yeah. Bear with everyone. Oh, we're getting onto the smooth here. Oh, here come the ladies. Let's not get in the way of the ladies. Down this way. We're going to talk about how to be a tour pro today, Matt. What does it take to get on the European tour? More than it takes to get on the Muppet tour, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> well, you say that. The Muppet tour is quite exclusive. Yeah, that's more exclusive. Yes, I would say it's harder to get on the Muppets tour, personally. <laughs> <laughs> right, how to get on the European tour, Richard, is today's, I do like a daily video, okay, and we're going to talk about how to get on the European tour. So how did you get on the European tour originally? For me, uh, through tour school. Okay. So uh, I turned pro at the end of 2001, played Walker Cup that year and had a good amateur career and then... Uh, so who was in your Walker Cup team? I like the Walker Cup team. stories. Yeah, yeah go a great on. team. Uh, so I had Luke Donald, Nick Doherty, yeah. Graham McDowell. Um, Stephen O'Hara, Mark Warren, okay. Jamie Elson. Yeah, yeah. And I what about the a... American team? Who were you playing against? Uh, who were the players? Not too many guys that you recognise. One in particular, Lucas Glover. Yeah, yeah. Who obviously won a US Open. Yeah. So, um, and then a few guys, an older guy called Danny Glover. Glover. Okay. Sorry, who, um, that's a, that's who's an gone actor, on to, it? yeah, yeah, I think he is as well, yeah. Uh, he's gone on to play, weapon. to play Champions Tour and stuff okay. as well. Okay, cool. So you um, did Walker Cup, then you turned pro. Turned pro. I went to Q School that year and missed at stage one. So I had a poor start yeah. to my professional career. Yeah. Uh, second year as a pro, I, I played a few mini tours and a few challenge tour and main tour invites. Um, and then finally got my card at 2003 Q School. Which um, is six rounds of qualifying, is six that Well, if you include in stage you one, stage there, two, you? and yeah. finals, you, you play six, 10, 14 overall if you're playing all three stages. Oh, that's crazy so amount of golf to keep it going, yeah. isn't it? And obviously you've got to play well enough to get through each stage, so. Because there's lots of people would say that, some, and I don't know how true this is, it's almost easier to stay on tour than it is sometimes to get to tour with mm. the qualifying. It's, Would you, is that fair or not at all? I mean, because obviously uh, when you get on the stand, it's good, isn't it? Kind of, yeah, yeah. I mean, both are just as hard as each other, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're in a particular ranking on tour in particular, where you, you're playing the best events and you're playing the big money events, you know, a few good finishes here and there, and it does rack up the cash for you to, to be able to keep your card that year, yeah, in particular. Because any of the people I know have tried to get on tour and have managed and then fall off, it's similar to what you're saying there, they don't get into the right events, mm. because it's all on how much money you earn, isn't it? The points are basically euros. Yes, yeah, and then it's the, the ranking system's done through where you finished the previous year, and then tournament winners, and then tour school is one of the last, last rankings you can have. So, um, yeah, you don't get the bigger events on at some years, it just depends who's playing what each week. You yeah, know, you've yeah, got yeah. 250 guys that are members of the tour, mm -mm. and um, and only fields of 156, so it okay. totally depends on, on who's, who's playing, playing in particular weeks. The stronger events with the stronger players playing, yeah. the tour school guys obviously aren't going to get into those. Yeah, so absolutely. And then yeah. winning tour school must have been quite a good, because there's no money for that, is there, for winning tour school? Uh, Q school, yeah, you get paid now for, oh, uh, yeah, for the last uh, 20 years or so has but has been paid. Okay, so there, um, you win money for doing that. Yeah. And then what kind of access to tour do you, I mean, winning it must have been quite a great feeling, because you now feel like, I'm on, I'm going to get access to events here, yes. I go kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, great access. Um, here and there, you got in, you know, it gave me an opportunity to get an invite because I won Q school. Yeah. Um, so I maybe got a couple more starts compared to some of the guys who you know finished middle of the pack and, and yeah, so yeah, on. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but again, it's 
winning is a great thing for confidence yeah. and a good confidence boost to try and kick on. But cool. Um, but yeah, my first year didn't go quite so well, so I dropped off. And yeah. then I've had times when I've gone back to Q School and then got back again yeah, yeah, through yeah. Q School or through Challenge Tour as well. Yeah, yeah. which we'll talk about those later on yeah, the other yeah. routes are going. So Tour School, Matt, if you that's how you get it. Because Matt's been wondering how he gets on. Yeah. <laughs> Tough school. <laughs> Tough school, not Tour School, it should be called. <laughs> So other ways of getting on tour, because someone like uh, Rory didn't go to tour school, did he, McElroy? He got an ex uh, like an uh, exemption. Yeah, or he got an invite to an event and then he yes. wins enough money just to stay on, is that? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, um, like the elite? yeah, I mean, there's two other ways, really. Challenge tour is one, so you can finish top 15, or t it used to be top 20, now it's back to top 15 again. And then what kind, um, top 15 then, how, what kind of starts do they get? Does like the first out of top 15 get more starts than if you finish 15th? Yeah, so it's ranked same as same okay. kind of thing as Q School. The, yeah. the higher up you finish, the better and more opportunity you're going to get to play really. Um, okay. Uh, and then the other the other option is something like what Rory did where yeah. you know you get invites into events and, and earn enough money through those events to, to keep your card. So. so what is the kind of money that keeps card nowadays? What, what, what uh, I think... Not, 2018, uh, sorry, 2017 last year was about 350,000. 350,000, yeah. okay. So, like a win, like you've had, you're yep. just done that. Yeah, just... obviously, win gives you the exemption anyway. Okay. But um, for how many years? Two years minus. Okay. But they range between one year and, and three to five years as well. So, depending on the uh, event. Depending on the event and the, the standard of uh, the event that you win. So. Okay, yeah. and then how many go through tour, tour school? How many get out of there compared to top 15 out of the um, second tour down, which is what tour did you challenge, challenge tour? Yeah. Yep. How many go to tour school and get through? Is it 15 uh, so or 20 or there's 30? There's probably 1,200 people that enter at the start of Q school. Yeah. And 30, 25, sorry now, get cards. Okay. 25 spots. So any young golfer, yeah. yeah, really hard. Any young <laughs> golfers out there? Yeah which way i mean either way which way would you give advice to go if like you were looking at yourself again starting now go and play those tours and check you're good enough and then qualify or just go tour school get it done and i mean i guess both it's one or the other isn't it yeah i That's think same. um i think same same really you're going to gain experience playing on any tour yeah so i think um if you can get a card straight away and you're and you're good enough then you're gonna you're gonna keep a card yeah yeah, yeah. um but at the same time, Challenge Tour is a great, great breeding tour. But it's great expensive, isn't learn. it? Yeah, very expensive tour. The expenses are still just as much, really, mm -hmm, apart mm -hmm. from um, most people don't have a caddy. Yeah, it's yeah. It's probably only 5 to 10% of people on the Challenge Tour that actually have a caddy. So so it's a little bit different, but uh, but the expenses are still just as high. Uh, but the standards are very, very high as well yeah, still. Yeah. So it's a great yeah. learning experience and a great great way to learn the travelling side of, of our game and, and, and how things work, yeah. And what about the PGA Tour then? If you wanted to go on that, so if, let's say you decided to pitch up and go for the PGA Tour, you would have to go to tour school? Have to go to Q, the way starts. things work in America now, you'd have to go to Q School in America. Okay. Which then they have a slightly different system now where it works purely for the web.com tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then they give 50 cards to the web.com tour. So I think they've just finished their final series. Um, so 25 get cards straight away, mm -hmm. and then they have a final four events where there is another 25 cards for the guys that finish in the top 25 for those four events. Right, okay. So it's a slightly different system. Their, their web.com tour is a very strong tour yeah, yeah. money-wise. They yeah. can afford to do it. Yeah. Uh, and guys can play there and, and not kind of, you know, lose the aspect of... Um, of having to lose a lot of money to be able to get a tour card. Yeah, so, yeah. As uh, in they can earn tour. a bit of a living on it. Yeah, you can still earn a bit of a living on the web.com yeah, tour yeah, to be able yeah, to. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. most events are between kind of three to five hundred thousand dollars. Right. And then the biggest events are kind of a million dollars. Wow, so. so it's serious stuff. Yeah. So it's tough. I mean, any way you choose to go, you just basically you just got to be good, haven't you? At the you end have of the day. Yeah. yeah. If any tour you're going to play on, you've yeah, got to yeah. be a good player. Yeah, yeah. 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 Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs>
me again, mate. That's how you get on the European tour, isn't it? Easy, isn't it? Summed up. Be better than us. Be longer, more consistent, make more birdies, make less bogeys. You, I mean, what I uh, think is basically, <laughs> basically <laughs> well, you just got to be better than the people, and this is so blatantly obvious, but you just got to be better than the people you're around at the time. Yeah, you? yeah. I mean, he's Walker Cup. So anyone who doesn't know, Walker Cup is like the biggest thing you can play in, really. As an amateur. As an amateur in a team event, it's the Ryder Cup of yeah. amateur golf. Sully was Ryder Cup, no, Walker Cup. And Ryder Cup. <laughs> but you see what I mean? That to get Walker Cup, you're in, I think it's a 12-man squad, 10 with two, maybe, is similar, maybe yeah. eight, but whatever. You, you know, in Great Britain and Ireland, which is what the Walker Cup is, it's not Europe, he's in the top selected 10 to 12 people in the country yeah just no surprise that he then goes on to become a tour player is it no um, there's plenty of people out there who are good enough to get on tour but never do it unlucky missed by one but is it really do you know what i mean best just get there don't they, they just do they just do don't they and like even like he said like with um people like rory they have to go to tour school, they just put yeah. them on and they can prove that they can win enough money to be there. There you go. I think it relates to people as well at home. It's the how is Rory off seven comment. This video for me is the same conversation. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, do. It's the same one. I mean, I had it all my life. How is he off that? And yeah. how are they off that? And I eat it better than that. And he eats it better than this. And I used to just think win stuff just, yeah. and then you can speak don't win yeah. stuff and all you got is this you yeah. know? and I mean that's rich coming for me because that's absolutely <laughs> all I've got now <laughs> but I was when I was a player I didn't yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like yeah. I've won this and I didn't win that what do you want to yeah. know you know but there you go better try harder mate try harder and win more try harder oh you could just on the Muppet tour I could be the best tour the easiest tour in the world you keep saying that it's not the easiest it's one of the hardest to get on. <laughs> but once you're on... 15 people get on. Yeah, once you're on. Well, not always. But 15 people get on the European tour. How many people go on yeah. the Muppets tour? Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Exclusive club, bro. <laughs> <laughs>